What is up, Cowboys Nation? Your boy Mike Tag here in areas unknown, enjoying a little R&R, &R, getting this thing rolling, a little 4th of July week. So nothing wrong with some vacation. So hopefully you guys are doing the same and getting ready to have a great weekend and hopefully a really safe 4th. So appreciate all the support on the channel. Make sure you hit that like, subscribe, share. We had a great show Thursday. If you missed it, some Eagles, Cowboys, a little rivalry talk. Smitty was on representing the Eagles and we had a lot of fun, man. It was a lot of fun. Uh, you know, giving jabs back and forth. The chat was on fire. A lot of Eagle fans in there, but I, I, I can accept that. We can all do some talking. So definitely uh, keep tuned to the channel. We've got a lot of good stuff planned during a slow period of time until training camp gets rolling. So uh, make sure you guys check it out. Also, got here to the cabin. Got a little cameo request. So knock that out doing a fantasy football draft. So Man, it's all, you know, football season's going to be here before you know it. But just wanted to talk a little bit about Parsons and Malik Hooker and, and my man Steph. He, he posted this video from, I think it was Keyshawn's interview with Malik Hooker and got a lot of controversy. And, of course, you know, you take certain clips and pieces of it and you can kind of develop any narrative that you that you want. But, you know, there was a the, the part that was clipped was Malik Hooker saying, you know, you know, maybe Parsons is focusing more on, on podcasting than, than than winning championships. You know, and again, that was taken a little bit out of context when you watch the whole video. But, you know, is there any validity to that? Is there any truth? Uh, I don't really buy it. Um, I mean, Parsons is one of the best players in the NFL, let's just face it. Is there sometimes he says things that, you know, you kind of wish they keep in-house or he would keep in-house? Sure. And I would say say the same for Malik Hooker. I mean, I would I would keep that, you know, any of those types of comments that you know is going to get that exposure and be taken out of context, I'd probably, you know, watch what I say as well. But, I mean, look back to the Cowboys in the 90s. Um, I think they had... I don't know, 10, 12 uh, player shows on TV. I mean, they didn't have social media back then, so it was more television. But you, Nate Newton had a show. I think Irvin had a show. Aikman had a show. I mean, you're talking the big heavy hitters for the Cowboys all had all had shows on TV. And um, so this is nothing new. And if you're, you know, if you're a competitor and you want to win championships and you want to get things rolling, put the work in, you're going to do it regardless of what else there is. I mean, all of us have jobs. This isn't my full time job. I got a, you know, I got a job. I'm pretty responsible in, in making sure my stuff gets done and, and support my team. But I do this because I enjoy it. It gives me some downtime, gives me a chance to interact with with uh, with other Cowboys fans. So this is kind of my es escape. So you know, some of these players, they need escape a little bit as well. Um, I just would, like I said, with Parsons, sometimes just the things he says kind of makes you wonder sometimes, you know, why you're saying that. But these guys are building brands. We've talked about it. I mean, especially for Cowboy uh, players. I mean, it's, you know, they're, 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 you know, you see when they retire, they end up in broadcast and they end up here, they end up there. Most of them can could make a career off of being a, a former Dallas Cowboy, but the way to make the best career off it is winning championships and winning Super Bowls. Because if you do that in Dallas, you're a made man. Especially, you know, you're, you're getting close to a 30-year drought. You'd definitely be a made man if you bring home a championship. So, again, it's slow news time, so they're going to make it bigger than it always is. Uh, that's just what the media does. Uh, but the fans, you know, sometimes we're guilty of that. And really the haters are, are definitely guilty of it because they love any controversy that can get started with the Cowboys. So anyway, that's my two cents on it. You know, it's probably, you know, let's, let, let's let it pass. Let's get ready for training camp. Let's focus on football. Hopefully these players are too because we got to get that sixth championship, man. We've been saying that for, for 29 years and it's just, uh, it's taken too long. And this team's got some talent. We've had talented teams. It's just something ain't getting us over the hump, and we got to get rolling. And now, I mean, look at this. It's we're getting a little, we're getting a little rain, a little morning rain in the in the in the, in the mountains in the woods. So I got some plans today. So they better get this rain over with quickly because we got some things to do. So I'll be checking back in with you guys. Appreciate it. Make sure you hit that like, subscribe, share, and also. We've posted a few times, we're doing a VIP training camp experience, your opportunity to, to roll with the big dogs and hang out in a, in a VIP setting at, in Oxnard. All expenses paid, flight, hotel, transportation to and from, 
you got really cool seating and an opportunity to kind of get up close and personal uh, with training camp from, from kind of that VIP level. So make sure you go to jackpot.com slash Cowboys24. So jackpot.com forward slash Cowboys24. If you also follow me on Twitter, you'll see some links about it. If you look at some of the old uh, YouTube videos, we put links in there as well. Instagram, there's been links in there. So it ends, I want to say July 4th. So you only got a few more days, and I would love to see someone from the Cowboys Cave win that experience. There's other prizes are given away as well, but I want to see someone from, from the crib representing, and, and, and then we can interview you and get the inside track of how it went, how'd you like it, uh, what did you see. You could be our boots on the ground during training camp, so definitely love to do that. So I appreciate it, man. You guys enjoy the weekend. Hopefully I'll talk to you soon. Take care.